What's going on everyone, Tech Me Out here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to unlock the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. And yes, I am clearly aware that they are currently under a recall due to random devices exploding. But with that said, there's still some people out there using their Galaxy Note 7s that have a desire to unlock them. So what I'm gonna be showing you in today's video is how to unlock the Galaxy Note 7 so that it will work with any GSM carrier. So I teamed up with Unlock Panda as they are the sponsor for today's video. But I legitimately like Unlock Panda as an option to unlock my device because they provide a safe and secure option to get your device unlocked so that you can pop any GSM SIM in it. And they offer some of the lowest prices available out there for this process as well as one of the fastest turnaround periods. So those are just a few things about them that I really like as to why they're my company of choice when it comes to unlocking my device. And you may have noticed that even a few months ago I did a video with them on how to unlock your iPhone 6S. So you can expect to see me work working with them more in the upcoming weeks as I will be showing you how to unlock other devices as well using their services. But to unlock this Galaxy Note 7. So the particular device I have here in my hand is locked to T-Mobile. So the first step that you have to do is grab the IMEI number. Now this information can be retrieved from the back of the device or you can hop into your settings, select about phone, status, and then your IMEI will be located within here. Once you have that information, all you have to do is navigate over to unlockpanda.com and provide the requested information that's going to include your carrier, device information, IMEI, and the email that you want to receive the unlock code to. From there, you're going to give your payment information and you're done. So it can take up to one to 72 hours to actually receive your unlock code. I think mine took about maybe two days, so it wasn't too long at all. However, I will state that in my case, being I'm unlocking a T-Mobile device, my process was a little bit different. So I didn't get an unlock code. I actually just had to wait until I got the confirmation email that told me that my device was successfully unlocked. Now, once I received that confirmation email, I can then go into an unlock app on my device and then follow the prompts to successfully unlock it. And you do want to make sure that when you're given the option to unlock it, that you're selecting to choose the permanent unlock option. Now for everyone else that does not have a T-Mobile device, then all you have to do is pop in the SIM card that you want to use. And shortly after you do that, it should ask you for an unlock code. And once you receive that prompt, you're just going to supply the unlock code that was emailed to you. And that's it. So like I said, real simple and easy and efficient to successfully get your device unlocked. Locked. But that's really all that I had to show you for this particular video. So stay tuned as I will be unlocking some more devices and giving you the process on those as well. In addition to bringing you some really cool content because I do have a few things lined up right now. So as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.